Assalamu alaikum. This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org slash donate. As little as $10 a month can help people find life-changing guidance. So the next question is, um, could you clarify what the concept of tabayun is and give a better understanding of that? And then what actions would follow that of Seeking clarity. Tabayun. Seeking clarity yeah. regarding people? I, I think they, the word they use is tabayun. So yeah. tabayun. No, so um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that in ja'akum fasiqum bi naba'in fatabayanu. If a corrupt person comes to you with some, some news, then verify. Right? Right? And then some of the Sahaba explain that as fatathabbatu. Make sure. Lest you think ill of people ignorantly, right? And then you'll r- regret about it. And the classic regarding this is social media, right? Someone makes a statement and everyone's wondering, who are they talking about? Firstly, is this person reliable? Right? And is their, ca- is their claim verifiable? Right? So we don't, we don't reject just baselessly but also we don't accept baselessly. We confirm. Right? We confirm and we clarify if we are responsible to confirm and clarify. Um, so there are principles w- with respect to our opinion of others. The basis is that the believer is obligated to have a good opinion not only of every believer but of every human being. It is obligatory. Husnul dhanni wajibun. Having a good opinion of others is a duty. And you cannot, and this is your operational certainty in every relationship. You're supposed to have a good opinion of people. That's your obligation. You cannot leave the good opinion to an ill opinion unless, unless you have sufficient proof. But you should not seek sufficient proof of the bad of another unless there's a reason to it it affects you in some way or you can help avert harm or you can become be party to the averting of harm right? but just chitter chatter gossip is not from averting harm right? so you know so someone saying oh there's a masjid in Um, rural Guatemala where someone stole some money let me find out who was it now do you know any have you ever been to Guatemala no even if you found out exactly who it is could you do anything about it do you know anyone in South South America forget in Guatemala itself in South America who could do something about it no if you do then you don't have to investigate because your investigation is not useful if you do know somebody and you have hope that they may be able to do something, then you pass the thing on to them. That there's this thing, they're saying about something there, are you able to help? That is sincere concern. Because you don't have to confirm everything that happened. It doesn't affect you, and you cannot affect it. So just stay out of it. From the excellence of a person's Islam, is to leave all that is not of concern to them, which is... That which re- relates to your good in this life or the next, or your, ability, or your ability to do good or prevent harm for others. If, it, if you can't, just don't concern yourself. Right? And this is one of the ways of having peace of mind, that most things, it doesn't affect you. Right? There's people who don't even know who the Prime Minister of Pakistan is. Prime Minister or President of Pakistan? Prime Minister. And they don't even know who the current Prime Minister is, but they're Pakistani origin. They're really concerned about, so, when exactly did Microsoft release such and such font? Because apparently there's a big controversy happening. I haven't investigated the controversy. This keeps coming up in my Facebook feed. Alhamdulillah, I've resisted the urge to read anything about it. it. But from what the headlines would indicate, it all relates to when Microsoft released the font, because they claimed that there's some documents. I may be a Pakistani, I have nothing to do with this. 
Like, if I find out when it happened, I can't impeach the, the, the prime minister. I've never voted in Pakistan, even though I am a dual citizen. Right? It doesn't affect me. If he does get impeached or removed or whatever, I'll find out when it happens. But it doesn't affect me. Do I already know that there's a lot of corruption in many countries? Yeah. Like, how does that benefit me in any way? Right? So you stay out of it. But in doing so, you, if he didn't cheat, I spend months thinking that he cheated. If someone, I, you know, making false claims, I believe something wrongfully. So, now, if you know somebody, there's a journal, f cousin of yours who's a journalist, whatever, forward it to them that... You may be interested in investigating this and keep out of it. Can you do something about it? If you can't, stay out of it. Okay? Right? Stay out of it. Um, so you don't have to verify everything, but don't believe anything until you verify it. And this applies in, in, a, in an age of disinformation, and we're going to speak about this more extensively, about... Um, the believer's responsibility in an age of um, alt facts and alt news and you know, alt, um, and the ulama talked at length about you know, about what are the Im implications of this فت, ف, you know, so verify right? and be careful what sources you accept right? on social media etc most of it ignore most news, because most of it is just idle entertainment. يحرس على ما ينفعك. Be avid for what will benefit you. Right? Um, the greatest news, the Quran describes itself as the greatest news. النبأ العظيم. You want some, some serious news? The greatest news in history is mentioned in the Quran. So take care of the greater news first, and then in the context of that. And to make a rational choice is to ask, how much of the news do you need? Because if you're going to spend 20 minutes a day on news, would you have greater reward by reading 10 minutes of Qur'an and 10 minutes of news, 10 minutes more of Qur'an, and re reduce your news intake by 10 minutes? If you would, then it's, a f it's foolish to, make, to choose the lesser instead of the greater. Okay? And you won't lose out. Now, then you ask, so what news do I need? Th this relates to my career. But it's important. That's of concern to you. This relates to the things of good that I'm doing in life. That concerns you. Right? Whether it be religiously or socially, etc. You follow some things to be aware. Because this I I impact impacts your ability to pursue good, personally or collectively. You want a certain amount of social awareness, political awareness, but a lot of things. The fact that Prime Minister Trudeau went to some restaurant yesterday and, oh, they're my friends there. Does that affect you in any way? No. You can't afford to pay $1,500 to the Liberal Party. You might not even be a supporter of the Liberal Party. Then, great. Just ignore it. Right? And it keeps your mind clear for, for other things. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us... Um, Empty your minds that are empty of distractions, so they can be, f so they're they're able to focus on God and what is truly good for us and for others. And the Prophet said, "Ihris ala ma yanfauk." Be avid for all that will benefit you. That's where our concern should be. Other things, you end up, you end the day, and you've wasted your life. So as one one of the great poets said. عَلَى نَفْسِهِ فَلْيَبْكِي مَنْ ضَاعَ عُمْرُهُ وَلَيْسَ لَهُمْ مِنْهَا نَصِيبٌ وَلَا سَهْمُ On their own self, let cry one who, wait, who squandered their life and who, have, who doesn't have of the experience of the divine, of the divine love, no part nor share. عَلَى نَفْسِهِ فَلْيَبْكِي مَنْ ضَاعَ عُمْرُهُ وَلَيْسَ لَهُمْ مِنْهَا نَصِيبٌ وَلَا سَهْمُ We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be of those who's, who attain of the experience of the divine and the divine good pleasure and the divine love, a great haddan wafiran, a great share. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the Global Islamic Seminary. 
Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.